Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Pre-orders are now available for War of the Spark and Modern Horizons booster boxes. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch, where today we're going to look at 15 affordable, highly played commanders. Now, a quick reminder about this video series. This is part of the Picks of the Month series. This is the one for March, and these do go out a little bit quicker to the gold patrons. By the time you see this in YouTube, it might be 24, 48 hours later, but I'm not expecting huge changes in the financial value of these cards in that time. So without any further ado, let's get into it. And we begin with Alicia Who Smiles at Death. Two different copies you could go with here. Commander 2016, 49 cents. Fate Reforged if you want to go budget for 40 cents right now. Really sweet card. And you know, it's easy to find. It's a cheap pickup. And it plays really well with a couple of new cards. Judith the Scourge Diva as well as Tasa Karlov. Animar Soul of Elements is our next one. As we're just going to go alphabetically through these. Commander, you can find that for $10.99, the original Commander series. Masters 25, $9.99. So you get a dollar cheaper if you go with a newer version. Now, with that being said, this is another really solid Commander, and it does work well with some new cards too. Nikki of the Old Ways, for example, Prime Speaker Vanifar. This is also kind of an anti Tesa Karlov card, since it does have protection from white and black. Attracts a Praetor's Voice. Okay, so... We're not talking about foils really in this video, but some of the cards I selected are only available in foils. So if you want a copy of this card, you have to go foil. Commander Anthology Volume 2, $18.13. Commander 2016, $20. This one is maybe one of the more relevant cards out of all the cards we're talking about today, just because this is going to potentially get better with War of the Spark. And the price of this card has gone up even in the last couple days as speculation continues that if we get some good Planeswalkers, the ability is going to interact well with them in Commander. So because of that, this is a card to watch. But even without that being factored in, this has always been a very, very popular Commander. And if your playgroup is expecting it, sure, they might hate this card out. I mean, it's that popular and that notorious. But at the same time, if they don't see it coming, it's very, very good. This also works well with a new card, Zagana Utopian Speaker. Rago King Eternal. I love this card. Conspiracy 355 Eternal Masters 404. Now, this is awesome if you want to play with permanents, with good enters, or leaves the battlefield effects. So many cool combos you can do with this card. Rhea, Ethereum Shaper. $9.15. However, it is only available in foil. It's only been printed in this one printing, as a matter of fact. And this is just a sweet card that interacts well with artifacts. It does interact well with Thopter strategies or something like that but also just generally with artifacts. There is another new card that does make this card even more relevant, and that is Dovin Grand Arbiter. Derevi Imperial Tactician, $1.58 from Commander 2013. Now you can get a foil of this if you want to go with the Commander Anthology copy, but look how cheap this original one is, and I do love the original copies, especially from these old Commander products. Now this is another card that does see a little play with a newer card. You'll sometimes see folks playing this alongside Lavinia, Azorius, Renegade just for value nowadays. Also, I always like the fact that you could use that ability to take this from the command zone to the battlefield. Kind of gets around that commander tax. Kalia of the Vast. Now this one's a little more expensive, $20.60 for the original commander version of the card. There have been some foil reprintings. Commander's Arsenal has one, Commander Anthology does as well. As a matter of fact, that Commander Anthology one is about the same price, so if you really want the foil, you're not paying much more, which is kind of nice. If you like Tribal Angels, Tribal Demons, Tribal Dragons, well, this is the card for you. And aside from that, there is a new card that does see play with this, and that's Rakdos the Showstopper. Kaineos and Tiro of Miletus at $2.05, very affordable pickup for Pillow Fort. This is another one that only is available in foil. Next, we have Marin of Clan Neltoth at $14.99. Now, this one has been going up a little bit recently as well. And if you want a foil copy, you can find one in Commander Anthology. Now, for $15, though, you are getting a lot here. This is a really sweet Commander. It uses the Experience Counter mechanic, which I always thought was pretty cool. Now, recently, I see more people playing this alongside the new card, Priest of Forgotten Gods. Also, the colors don't quite line up, but I have seen people play this alongside Tesa Karlov in some decks, too. Narset Enlightened Master, 92 cents, really cheap pickup, under a dollar. 
And if you like to play with non-creature spells, this might be the commander you're looking for. I have seen some folks using this alongside the new card, Emergency Powers. Nakusa are the Mind Razor at $4.02. and two cents. Even though this did not get a reprinting in Commander Anthology or anything like that yet, there is a Judge promo out there if you are looking for a foil. With that being said, this is just a really sweet card again, and you're going to find this many times alongside the new Biobox promo, The Haunt of Hightower. Omnith, Locus of Rage, $4.70. You know, the Nature's Vengeance deck that came out with the Commander 2018 series had a lot of great cards that synergized with this. If you like playing Land Matters decks or the Landfall mechanic, this one is for you. Oloro, Ageless, Ascetic. Okay, some people love this card, some people hate it. $6.13 for this original one from Commander 2013. Much like the other card we saw a moment ago, there's also a Judge promo of this in foil, if you're looking for a foil. Now, right now, Esper Colors are pretty popular generally in Commander. Also, if you like Life Gain, this is going to be good for you. But what is really intriguing about this card is it does something in the Command Zone. And there's a lot of advantage to be had for a card that can just do something while it's sitting there in the safety of the Command Zone. And take into account, this also plays well with a number of other cards that are out there. And this is one that you definitely want in your collection if you are a Commander player. Sadisi Brood Tyrant and 99 cents, real cheap pickup here for a dollar. Works great with Maldroth of the Grave Tide. If you want to populate your graveyard and do some shenanigans out of there, this is the perfect card for you. And when it comes to newer cards, even, I have seen some people playing this in the same deck as Prime Speaker Vanifar at times. Here's another card I have seen some people playing alongside Prime Speaker Vanifar. It's Yidris Maelstrom Wielder, $4.50. This is only available in foil. And Cascade is just such a fun mechanic. Having a commander that can truly unlock that mechanic's potential is really awesome. All right, with that being said, that's our look at 15 highly, highly played, very affordable commanders. Hopefully this gives you an idea of maybe a new commander deck to play if you've been thinking of trying something new. Also, I do think these are cards that could go up in value in the coming months and years. So if you haven't purchased them yet and you've wanted them, it might not be a bad time to do so. But this isn't about getting rich quick. Remember, any of these cards could be reprinted at any time, and even though these are heavily played cards, some of them do have a good number of copies out there in the marketplace currently. Anyway, until next time, please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.